Welcome to another Buddhism Paper 4 uh, video. We're looking at the Trippi, Tippi Tika. I better get my Pali right rather than my Sanskrit. And we're just doing a, a little video just now on how practically, what would it look like to write the Tippi Tika in the traditional way? Um, here's, uh, so we're going to look at some pictures in a second, but here uh, we need to know the Tippi Tika was written on Ola leaves to record the teaching. Um, the Ola leaves are long narrow leaves which are sewn at the edges and grouped into bunches stored in baskets. Isn't that interested? Um, thus the Tai Petika literally means three baskets, like it was divided into three divisions or categories, because it was literally perhaps stored in baskets. Take a look at some of these pictures, these pictures here of the same thing being done that was done two and a half, well, two, two thousand years ago. Here's the Ola leaf trees, you can just sort of see around the place. Here are the dried leaves, so the leaves being prepared, um, they're being dried uh, for writing, and then they're cut to size, and we begin the process of writing by hand the Tippi Tika. Um, with uh, traditional old inks created basic elements. Um, isn't that amazing? So here he is creating on the branch of uh, the leaf the a section of the Tippi Tika. So these are collected together and held in kind of wooden boxes uh, like this. And that's what the finished article looks like. And uh, huge amount of work, isn't it? It looks huge amount of work. Um, but very different to how things developed in the West. With papyri, um, the codex, the modern book, didn't develop in the West till much later. Just very interesting, I think. And here this guy is uh, being awarded for his many years of hard work writing Tippi Tika. Listen.